All right, what's up, guys? Not much today. The title of the video, you already know, coilover install. Step one, clean out your trunk because you got to get all this stuff out of the way because you need to get over here and over here to the top of the rear coilovers because we're going to do the back first, then we're going to do the front after that. Two, I got a whole bunch of valve covers. If you guys need valve covers, let me know. I just need to get rid of them. So we're just sitting back here. They're already welded. They got bungs on them and everything. They look good. Yep. All right, so clean this crap out of your trunk. Everything else looks good in the car, but because we need to get back here. So clean the trunk out and then let's go ahead and get this thing jacked up. Let's go ahead and get the wheels and tires off. So let's get the rolling. And then we're in the back right now of the car. We got the seats pushed up. We got to reach back here. And the back of the shocks are back here. Yeah, you can see back there. Two nuts back there. Take those out and then the shock will be loose on the top and then there's just one on the bottom, but we gotta get back there. So we'll take these off and then we'll go ahead and keep going. So car is jacked up. We are getting rid of this thing right here. So let me see, let's get another angle down here. All right, so we are removing just this bolt right here. It's the bolt on the bottom of the shock. That's it, pop that out. All right, and then once you get the top one done, and the bottom one done, look at this one here. Probably not. No, I can't do this with one hand. Uh, oh, I can't do it. Yeah, there we go. So then just slide it right on out. And that's your factory shock that you don't want anymore. So let's go ahead and get the other side out and then let's go ahead and get the new ones in. All right, and here's our old versus new as you can see the old is a little bit longer the new ones are a little bit shorter so that should drop us down immediately and we still have lots of adjustments so i guess we'll go ahead and throw these in and see where she sits at all right so we got our coilovers on in the back we got our rear setup kind of looking good all right yes oh and we got our we got our tail light red outs on i love the red outs they look so good all right, let's see. Moment of truth. Let this thing down. Let's see. Ooh, not low at all. Nah, that's pretty good. I wouldn't go much lower than that. Yeah, that's not bad. Well, car looks good. Guess we'll still tighten up things and adjust it. But I guess let's go ahead and let's get the front because this is the back. So, all right, let's keep rolling. All right, well, now we're up front. But as you can see, there's no motor in the car. So now half the work up here is already done because I already pulled the motor. But for people that don't already have your motor out, what you need to do is take this bolt right here out, the bolt down there. That's the two on the coilover. You have to unloosen this tie rod end up. You got three on the top up there, but that's easy because you can see those. And then the last two things you got is just your ABS sensor you gotta take off because that's plugged into the wheel hub. And then there's one bolt right there that connects on here. And then the last thing is your brake line. And your brake line connects right here. So take that off and then it pretty much comes out. So yeah, sorry I can't show you guys none of this stuff because it's already done. But all right, let's go ahead and uh, let's grab our new coils. All right, so here are our new coils versus our crap old ones. As you can see, the new ones are a lot smaller. So hopefully it doesn't drop it too low. I guess you really, it's hard to really know where you adjust the coil over outside of the car, how tall it's gonna be. So we'll see how it sits. I guess we'll drop these in and we'll see how it sits. All right. All right, so they have a coil over in, looking pretty good. Um, everything's not tight, obviously, cause we still have to put the engine in because the engine's not in the car, but this is just a test fit to make sure to see where the car's sitting at. So I have no idea where it's sitting at. I kind of just spun them to any location I thought that looked good. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna throw the tire back on and then we'll go ahead and see how the car sits. All right guys, so got the wheel on and everything. I guess let's go ahead and jack it down now, see how she looks. Uh, still a little bit of gap, not too bad. But then again, there's still no motor in here. So we got about eh, 
three fingers, I guess, worth of gap. But then again, there's no motor in here. So we don't know how much the car is going to go down when we put the motor in it. So I might just leave it right here just for now. And then, you know, when we put the motor in it, we'll see, I guess, how much the car drops down after that. So if we get a lot of drop down, we'll, I guess, have to adjust the car back up. But if we're low enough, because realistically, most time when you drop motor in the car, you'll lose about two fingers. So that'll probably put us right about right on the wheel. So I think we might be good right here. That was a good guess, but who knows? But I guess, uh, yeah, we're not doing any more adjusting. So I guess who knows what we're doing next video. All right, guys. Later.